So let's determine if c equals 1 plus i is part of the Mendelbrot set. So the Mendelbrot set is based on a recursive sequence, zn plus 1 equals zn squared plus c, where, where z sub 0 is 0. Uh, and for each value of c, we can test, we can compute the sequence, and then we're going to determine, does this sequence, does this sequence get big? If the answer is no, then it is part of the Mendelbrot set, or more correctly, part of the interior of the Mendelbrot set. So let's start with z equals 0 and see what happens with this value for c. So z1 would be z0 squared plus 1 mi plus i, or in other words, 0 squared plus 1 plus i would be 1 plus i. Uh, z2 would be z1. I'm just going to go ahead and substitute this in for z1 z1 squared plus 1 plus i, and that'd be 1 plus 2i plus i squared plus 1 plus i. Again, this is foiling this term out, and so that is 1 plus 2i minus 1, because remember i squared is negative 1, plus 1 plus i is 1, and negative 1 is 0, plus 1 is 1, 2i and i is 3i. Uh, z3 would be z2 squared. Again, we're using the previous term here. z2 squared plus 1 plus i is 1 plus 6i plus 3i squared, or 9i squared, uh, plus 1 plus i is 1 plus 6i minus 9, because remember i squared is negative 1, plus 1 plus i is uh, what is that, negative 7 plus 6i and 1i is 7i. And you'll notice something, these values are already getting really big. It turns out that the next one is, uh, 1 minus 97i, which is even bigger. And so this ends up getting really, really big, and so this, this point here, 1 plus i, is not in the mendel brot set. Okay, so let's try another point. What if c is 0.5i? Uh, so z1 would be 0 squared, because remember z0 was 0. 0 squared plus 0.5i is 0.5i. z2 would be 0.5i squared plus 0. Point, sorry, yeah, plus c. So z1 squared plus c. Um, so 0.5i squared, 0.5 squared is 0.25, i squared is negative 1, uh, plus 0.5i. So there is z2. z3 would be z1, sorry, z2 squared plus c. And at this point, I'm feeling like I could really use a calculator. Uh, it turns out that this is negative 0 0.1875 plus 0 0.25i. And the next term turns out to be negative 0 0.02734 plus 0 0.40625i. And while not conclusive, it sure looks like these values are staying pretty small. Uh, perhaps even approaching a value, uh, and so this does appear, it appears that 0.5i is part of the Mendelbrot set.